Hello and welcome. You are listening to the Lai Lama podcast. I'm Gunjan. I'm Rajiv. And Rajiv, good news for our listeners. This is going to be the most most feel good factor show ever in the history of the Lai Lama in the history of universe. The short history of the Lai Lama. The short history of the Lai Lama and, and the long future. We are talking about the art of procrastination. The feel good factor here is that you have seen such amazing people, highly motivated people who give all this gyan and everything. And I can say this with full confidence. And Rajiv, please correct me if I am wrong. Each and every individual procrastinates something or the other. no matter who he is it may not be work but they can procrastinate their uh, uh, parties or maybe getting into bed or eating food or i i don't think so anybody exercise exercise i don't think so anybody procrastinate uh, tea or coffee break that will be a crime as per <laughs> me but yeah. uh, yes food, rajiv, uh, rajiv food, desserts the psychology behind uh, procrastinating a thing and why do we procrastinate are we by design like that what do you think well i think as in coming from a desi family and how i've been a desi mom always always asking my kid to get this done so that we have more time for this get this done so that we have more time for this and teacher said that uh, you know he really doesn't seem to be motivated enough and uh he doesn't finish his work on time i said yeah the same stories at home and i have to tell him give him a couple of uh, reminders that you know can we please finish this can we please get this done and all and she said that you know please don't do that and i said isn't it a good thing to finish your homework and work everything before time like, and have some yeah, time teach him not to pro- yeah teach him and, not to procrastinate huh? and she was like that's fine but it's better to fail now rather than failing later Yes. and i think we are so much by design till the time someone will not tell us we uh-huh. are going to move or we want someone to you know always so, tell so us. You're, okay so you are saying that you were pushing your son not to procrastinate because you know that he would have failed i was encouraging him encouraging him to finish his work so that we can have fun later yeah nice words <laughs> 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 but yes yeah so i think <clears throat> my view on procrastination is that psychologically there are two reasons or maybe more mm-hmm. one obviously can be you know you're just lazy pure lazy which yeah. i don't think you know but that uh, we we don't we are not lazy for many things you know, mm-hmm. let's say if i like uh, watching movies and you know, a friend of mine says hey do you want to go to a movie i'll never i'll just jump out and you know or if you like going to the mall you you right. are never lazy for things that you like right so you're lazy for things that you don't like and i think the same goes with procrastination um but there is another factor that i think that people or we we use procrastination as a guise or a defensive mechanism for fear of failure or fear of judgment right i've seen that a lot at least in the workplace where you know uh, my manager would say you know when are you going to finish this you know when i was coding or when i my presentation right you know it keep thinking okay you know go back to the presentation look at the fonts the color you know like you're procrastinating finishing it the, the last we, 5% right? what are we it's, talking about procrastination rajiv how much time it took us to start this show and yes the art One of year. procrastination this particular episode i think it is getting pushed from last two to and a half weeks that yes we'll record it yes we'll record yeah. it yeah, so yeah. what exactly. are we talking yeah. about yeah we 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 procrastinated for about a year to start <laughs> the first right so yeah we, right. we are the masters of procrastination right so that's what i said in the beginning of the show that... but i think the you know but the same psychology still stands right right so i think when we were i remember the first trial episodes that we were recording mm-hmm. you know the only thing that was that okay how will it be perceived you know and and that is true and i think that's that's one of the reason why we procrastinate but once once you give up that fear then there is no stopping you 
Right. And uh, Rajiv, I remember uh, uh, you've written this book, Rise, and you did, did talk about time quadrant. Uh, mm. that uh, you know there are things which are urgent hey, Eisenhower, things... Eisenhower yes Eisenhower uh, yes yeah. right right so uh, how do we keep ourselves motivated that important things do not turn into urgent things and quality doesn't get lost and how can one keep themselves motivated and not to procrastinate uh, important things yeah I, w- yeah I wish there was a magic pill or a very you know simple answer because this is all very individualistic right, right. Uh, the uh, that the quadrant that I used in that book uh, was famous because of uh, US President Eisenhower you know once said uh, that uh, you know we keep pushing important things out till the or he actually said that don't push out the important things till they become merchant Right. So, you know, he came up with this or like, I don't know whether he came up with this or then people derived a quadrant where they started plotting, okay, what is important versus urgent. It was more of a delegation mechanism than anything else. Right. But I think the uh, the question remains that uh, what can we do to make sure that things that are important for us, you know, how do we make sure we don't procrastinate on this? And if I let's think... say, you know, whether it is work, whether it is personal uh, you know, health, relationships, um, anything, you know, if it is important, then what are you going to do to make sure that it does not become urgent? A lot of, you know, relationships fall apart and then they become, you know, uh, like mechanical, you know, fix it because, uh, you know, the distance grew, you did not invest in relationship and suddenly, you know, it has become urgent to, fix the relationship same thing you know at work or anything right and which is why it is said that uh you know let's have a deadline or let's have an estimated time and i think that one thing that we procrastinate a lot most of us is cleaning and uh, if we do not have diwali cleaning on our head or spring cleaning on our head that you know we have yeah. to get this yeah. thing done yeah. before this or that yeah. even the coupons that we get if we do not have expiry date expiry. on it no way. No way we are going to. No, no. I, I have a box full of coupons that are already expired. I always, you know, have some of these coupons. And the only thing I do is that put them and, you know, throw them in trash. No, I'm talking about these cleaning coupons. Like every time you go to renew your lease, your property manager gives you a cleaning coupon that this is valid oh, okay, no, only. Yeah. And when that comes with the validity of that certain time period, that's the time, like, you know, it's getting expired tomorrow. Have to use it. Today I have to just, you know. Take it becomes it. urgent. So you can yes. clean your house twice just to use the coupon. <laughs> yes, yes. So, uh, I mean, I think uh, bringing in deadlines it helps and there are certain deadlines which are like just there like Diwali it is feeling such a uh, no but you see the, my my question is that why is it so that means that cleaning is not important to you or or you know you don't think that cleaning is uh, uh, you know having a clean house or you know clean uh, apartment or whatever it is is important to you so m- my personal view is that you will only procrastinate on things that are not important to you or you are fear of being judged for that. So I don't know about the cleaning thing, but you know, at least at work and all that, my theory was and still is that, you know, I would see people like, you know, fussing over small thing and I would say, you know, get it out the door. How does it matter? Right. And I have heard like, you know, I was a volunteer most of my life and uh, one of the volunteer came and said that I'm still working on a proposal and, you know, I'm a perfectionist, so I just couldn't finish it and I need some more time and all. And every time I was like, okay, just just give me a date by when you'll be able to finish this. And um, I'll ask uh, board members that we need, need that much of time, but give me a date. Just saying I'm a perfectionist and I need time to finish it will not help. You Actually, need- perfe- I, I, in my view, uh, being a perfectionist, is a guise that we use for procrastination. Nothing more than that. I've come to that conclusion. I think that you know that's simply an excuse. That has uh, you actually are not perfectionist. Nobody is perfectionist. You know, even let's say Steve Jobs was perfectionist, but he didn't. He he pushed out the you know iPhone or iMac and all that 
the first version was not perfect. Perfection is a journey. It is never a destination. And I, that's why I think that, you know, it is simply an excuse for procrastination. And again, uh, different things might mean uh, different to other people. Like one person who's a perfectionist says that, you know, Ariel is the best one. Another one might say that Times New Roman is the best one. So you just never know. And each each and everyone has a different meaning of being yeah, perfect. Yeah. I think yeah. being imperfect is the most perfect thing that you can do. Why do you want to fight so much with Mother Nature and, you know, things that are surrounded by you? This, <laughs> and I came across this line and it stayed with me that nobody is perfect till the time you're in love with that person. Yeah, yeah you know, like uh, I think I use the same thing in uh, a line in that same book, Rise, that uh, if you want to know how good I am, then ask my mom. Right. <laughs> you know, so, and if you know, if you want to know how bad I am, ask my wife. <laughs> right. So, so yeah, you know, it's essentially, it, 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 you said it right that, you know, if, if you love something or someone, then he or she or that thing is perfect, no matter, you know, how it states or looks to somebody else. So why do you think that, uh, you know, uh, 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 like you were talking about your son, right? Uh, you, the teacher said, let him fail. Right. So did you let him fail and let him procrastinate? I did. And um, I mean, of course, every morning there was a battle in our house that, you know, please wake up. Please do this. Please. One morning I was like, I am not going to say anything. And it was just four minutes drive from our place. Yeah. Never, ever he got a tardy slip. Never, ever, uh, you know, he was late. And that morning we were late. Mm. Everything was like, Mama, I'm late because of you. You wanted to teach me a lesson. And that's not how you should have done that. So, <laughs> of course, I had to face some consequences. And then he was really, really mad at me and then was uh -huh. going was all over the place and was just not listening and not doing anything that uh, you know so yeah. that somehow was a bouncer but uh, <laughs> yes yes but, uh, so, so morning, my question is my question is that was, when you were insisting or when parents insist to their children you know do this do that on all that are they afraid that the world will judge them because of the tardiness of their kids that they are not good parents. I want to go a little deeper in the psychology because for me always, if you understand the root cause of something, then you can make a decision whether you want to fix it or not. That's right. Right. So the question is, do parents, you know, chase their children because they are afraid of children being, you know, like failing or all that? Or is it that it will look bad upon them as parents so what do you think so I can't say on behalf of anyone else but this is what my take is discipline is the key I but really why? don't see why, why, why do you think you know is it right you said imperfection is also good imperfection is good but again discipline and being imperfect are two different things it's if you're homeschooled Whatever time you want to wake up, whatever time you want to sleep, it's okay. No, home but school, homeschooling is very tough. They are, it they, is. They are much, it is. They are much I can't more even... discipline. No, no, no. Whatever, whatever love, respect I have, if I homeschool my kid, everything will be gone like a wind. It will be gone in like spur of moment if I homes if I would have homeschooled my kid, even for a day. And uh, that's that can be a so nice. You are like you are a tiger mom. Huh? I'm not a tiger mom. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you just said that you are a tiger mom or you would have been a tiger mom <laughs> so so yes homeschool is a uh, different level of dedication altogether and i'm not up for it i really hats off to the moms who can do it but i really cannot do it i can't so then 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 why do you think that disciplining is good like so why would as a parent you know you want to discipline put in these you know the time constraints and no procrastination, this and that for your child. By discipline is important, Rajiv. He is going to a school, right? Mm. There's a structure. And if you are going to school late, 
you are disturbing the class, other kids. It will take some time for you to settle. And nobody wants to be that center of attraction and people looking at you, oh, okay, so you are late. So you are the one who's disturbing the class. And when you are, you need to know that how to blend in when you're working with people. That comes with a great sense of responsibility and discipline. It cannot be like, okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm late. And then you are just, you know, putting your points, just not able to listen, comprehend or uh, absorb what other person is saying. And you'll miss a lot. And then you'll, you'll give your idea and then other person is like, okay, this idea was given and has already been rejected. Do you have something else? Or can you please listen to us? So there are certain things that, you know, you'll get only when you have that kind of discipline in your life. So the words you use is because you want your child to blend in, in the society, in the structure of society or school or That's whatever. A, quite a tricky thing. First, you have to blend <laughs> in. Then you have to stand then you want to stand out yes yes that's that's quite so, a tricky thing but if you have to stand out first you have to blend in okay so essentially you know you need to understand where to confine to the structures or of you know school society whatever it is but then you need to figure out your individuality now if yes. the you know your individuality is that you are a lazy person that is just like giving labels and if you give a label to someone, mm. that person will start behaving like that. Then he'll look for the proof that I am a lazy person. And that mm. what he will... Or he will, or he will, or he or she will use it as an excuse. Or he or she... That, hey, you, you said that I'm a lazy person, so that's why I didn't do it. Yeah, I don't want to prove you wrong. <laughs> so, yes, that's, that's uh, one problem, a big problem that I have, uh, mm. putting on labels on mm. anyone and mm. I have actually stressed uh, quite a lot upon these things that please do not give labels about you know mm. ADHD or autistic or gifted or anything mm. for that matter it's mm. a very heavy baggage for kid to yeah. carry along yeah. with I them. agree I agree on that but oh my god you agree Rajiv yes the catastrophe is yes. about to happen yes. if you're agreeing I know I'm you said that this is a feel good Feel good episode. <laughs> so, so yes. but the, you know, but I think the you know, going back to the uh, procrastination, art of procrastination. Um, my second view on uh, procrastination is sometimes we should procrastinate. Mm -hmm. So procrastination should be intentional, and um, you know, it's not that it is always bad. But I and this is where you know, putting labels is you know, uh, when you said that. It, the people think that procrastination or being lazy is always bad. I think that you know sometimes it gives you a lot of unstructured time, and it should. Mm -hmm. Yes, procrastinating on something that is important, and then spending or using the time on something just to keep yourself busy. I think that is something that you each individual has to figure it out. Right. But let's say you know you are planning to do like. You know, we were procrastinating for almost a year on starting the yes. podcast, not because we were afraid of or fear of, you know, whether anybody will listen to, it. you know, I think we were very okay with just two of us listening to our own channel. To each other. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this, yeah, because this is more of a, you know, thing that we wanted to do in terms of self, you know, reflection and all that as yes. with somebody else to you know, uh, bounce off the thing. Mm -hmm. And we were debating more on, you know, topics. We were still discussing them offline, right. but right. not in a structure. I think that, yeah, you know, whether one year was, you know, too long versus we could have procrastinated only for three, four months, six, that's a different thing altogether. But that is good because I think it gave us a lot of ideas on what we want to say. I remember that initially, even when we did the first five, six sample recordings, you know, like we were pathetic yeah and there was no you clarity know. in yes. our head exactly itself, so right? so if if procrastination will help you improve the outcome and this is all individualistic right you, right you, you cannot take an excuse and say oh it will help me improve and keep procrastinating but if you are honest with yourself and you procrastinate because you know that your effort tomorrow will be better than what you do today yeah, you should. You know that that's a pro. I would say that's an intentional, proactive 
out of procrastination. But on the other hand, if you're trying to hide between procrastination, something like, you know, I'm a perfectionist or, you know, um, this is not ready or that is not ready or whatever. If you are going to use it as an excuse to avoid doing something, then you need to reflect on it. And Rajiv, there are also things like what people call as lazy luck. Uh, mm -hmm. I remember uh, a friend of mine and he was supposed to get those tires uh, changed off his car. And just before that, and he was just delaying it next weekend, next weekend, next weekend. And then his car was stolen. They couldn't take he car saved, too he far. Saved money on, yeah, yeah. He they it couldn't take car too far because uh, it got a flat the tires were because bad. yeah, the tires <laughs> were bad. And then he was like, and he was flexing this that you know, my lazy luck worked and I did not get this. <laughs> but we have seen and we have seen historically as well that someone missed the train by five minutes or didn't wake up and then there was a like. Hmm you know, some natural disaster or yeah, some calamity yeah, was there and yeah. that's how they were saved. So, yes, sometimes if you, your heart knows, some, I think we are animals, we have instincts. Mm. And yes. if we are just like, okay, can I sleep for another five minutes? For me, it happens every morning, like, you know, that snooze button is the worst thing I think <laughs> that has been invented in the history of humankind but uh, yes there there are times when procrastination has actually helped people to come out of situation so so I I would you know I would look at it differently they if we let's say a person is procrastinating out of habit and you know and one fine day that turned out to be good you know, like, uh, let's say I am you know, a, a lazy person by nature. Mm -hmm. I keep pushing things to do, right? Uh, and one fine day, you know, I miss the flight and, you know, I miss that whatever disaster happened. Uh, then, we, then we start finding patterns to justify our behavior even more. And that we are, that's where the problem is. That I'm not saying that procrastination is good or bad. All I'm saying is that, you know, be very clear why you're procrastinating. If you're trying to hide behind that as an excuse, mm -hmm. then it is time for self-reflection. You can al always say, hey, you know, I am a lazy person. You know, I always take decision at the last moment. That's also true. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Let's say now the question is, here's my question to the, you know, to the friend. If the, you know, people, whoever stole the car and you had already changed the tires and let's say the, they ran away with the car, you still had insurance. You could have bought a new car. I would have said, hey, you know, good. Give good. me an opportunity to buy a new car. <laughs> right. You right. Know, and uh, I had used the car for whatever, five, three, seven years. And, you know, I was looking. So it again depends on how you justify your action or inaction. Uh, Rajiv, I'll take, uh, I want to take a pause here and reflect on what you said. Then people, they just accept that they are lazy. It's okay to accept. Hmm. What are you doing to improve it? Yes. Oh, yes, it's not that, a very oh. uh, good thing to uh, do, right? Except acceptance is fine. That's okay. But what people are doing, I'm a useless person. I'm lazy. Yeah. Don't use these things as a shield. See, the problem. The problem is that I think we, we talked about it in one of the earlier episodes that we talk more bad things to ourselves about ourselves than the world talks to us. That is absolutely if I, and and the and the thing is that this is where people will lose their self esteem, self respect, and they will go down a hole which you know is very difficult to climb out of. If you say I'm a lazy person, I'm a bad person, of course you are because you're saying so. Right. But the thing is, then you know, as you said, that uh, are, are you really like that, or are you using it as an excuse and you know using it as shield? But then. Why are you not lazy in the things that you like? Right. So here's all I want to say that you've recognized yourself as lazy. Think of ways of coming out of that. Mm -hmm. Just don't use it as a shield. I can't do it. And yes. not made yes. for this and all. Don't don't use these things as a shield. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like I know, I know some people say, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> and I know who that person is. <laughs> but yes, eventually. So uh, just for uh, uh, in the interest of audience, this is my go-to line. Humse na ho paega was something I was telling Raji for like quite some time that uh, are we sure we really want to do this? We really want to do that. So, <laughs> so yeah, he was, uh, he, I think you uh, made some coaster or something also out of that. You know? I know. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, I did. <laughs> so this was my to go line quite some time that I, I don't think so. I have time for all this. I don't think so. But again, and I have read uh, Rise and it's all about uh, time management and we all have and 20 hours in yes. our day and prioritizing thing and things come and honestly, Raji, when I drive, it's the podcast and the questions, what can be framed, how can it be asked and these are the only things constantly going in my mind just because now I'm on that track. Earlier when but I was... You see, the thing is, here's, here's exactly, I think this is a very you know, good example. You on ourselves itself you know we were right. procrastinating on this for like a, almost a year you know maybe slightly more than a year but once we you know we overcome that now we are disciplined you know whether you call it discipline but we look forward to recording the episodes because you know these are the topics that we want to explore and it's not like that we are on track and we don't go off track. We do go off track. I travel a lot. Yeah. lot. Rajiv travels a lot. And there are times, there are like two, three weekends mm -hmm. where we miss out on yeah. our uh, we, we, recordings. We, we didn't do anything in the last six weeks. Yeah. Yes. But then yes. we and catch then, up. And then we lose the track. Then our recordings are again horrible. Then we re-record them. So yeah. yes, it's not like that. Uh, we once we are you are on track and it's easy to stay on track. Yeah. Nothing is easy. And the other day only I was telling my sister that every two months every two months we are on a journey that journey is of weight loss because we go home yes. we we are uh, at our mom's place and then the yo-yo diet yes 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 then uh, we are like you know it's our body and we should listen <laughs> and uh, whatever we feel like we yeah, have the body but the body is trying to tell you please stop eating no, no, body never says that. The body <laughs> body says, that. says that. No, you, if you listen to the body, body will say that. Yes, no, enough. <laughs> so, uh, yes, whenever you we are at our mom's place, we are in a different spectrum altogether. Sometimes, there are times when I'm like seven or eight. And eight, the procrastination eight. happens at your parents' place. Yes, not. yes. And I mean, you become a kid. My first uh, stand-up is at uh, uh, 8.45. And I'm usually in office by seven or eight, whatever, like depending on the traffic and what time I wake up and done with my exercise and everything. At my mom's place, my mom will call me at 8.30. You have a call at 8.30. Yes, mama, I'm coming, I'm coming. And I am not a person who will just open the laptop and start working uh, or start saying anything in the meeting. Mm -hmm. I need to prepare myself. I need mm -hmm. to be ready with my data all the time. I'm really not that person who can just open the laptop and just, you know, mm -hmm. go on. Mm -hmm. A story or something like that. I need time to prepare. I I know I know myself good enough. So yes. So, yes. so you so you don't procrastinate on few things, but you procrastinate on some. I do. I do. So the, as so I then say, then it's the same thing. Then you know essentially you know we are that's what we are trying to emphasize that try to understand what are the things that you procrastinate on and why and and then improve upon it. And yes, and how how is it impacting your growth? Everything, not just growth. Well, quite a discussion, Rajiv. And uh, I hope our listeners, they are feeling good about procrastinating things. But yes, if you can define that this will not impact or this is going to highly impact, please take an action. Uh, just closing lines uh, from my side, which, which I saw on Insta and I just quite loved it. Bagay nuksan uthai. Yes, <laughs> very nice. Yes. Do visit our website, thelilama.com, T H E L I E W L A M A dot com. Do tell us your lie, and we'd be more than happy to post you. Rajiv, closing lines from your side. Um, so I was actually thinking uh, maybe this couplet, whether uh, it applies here or not, but I'll still say it. Please. You know, procrastination ke mein, you know, in ke bhi hain nahi hote. Very so funny. which I think is like you know we overthink things 
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर थैंक यू वेरी मच